In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate Salesforce leads from your BotPress chatbot using the Salesforce integration. Let's get started. We're going to develop a sales bot for a tractor company. The bot will ask the user a couple of questions and based off their answers, it's going to create the following lead. It has the required properties like name and email and also has some custom properties like uh, farm area in acres, the type of crops they grow, the features that they're interested in and the horsepower of the engine of the tractor. It also has the conversation summary as well as the full conversation transcript. To install Salesforce integrations, you would need to open your bot in the studio, click integrations, search for Salesforce, click install, open the integration configuration, enable it, copy the webhook, paste it into your browser, then you would need to authorize with uh, Salesforce. It would need to be done just once. Review the permissions and click allow. And now you can use the Salesforce actions in your bot. So on your left, you can see that we have Salesforce actions available for us. Okay, let's, let's start building. First, we'll need to define some variables that will hold the uh, lead data. The first one's going to be a transcript, which will hold the full conversation history. Then we're going to need the conversation summary and the user data that we'll extract from the messages. In order for us to define the structure of this variable, we're going to need to create a schema. A schema is pretty much a blueprint for an object. We can define its structure here. First, we're going to need the first name which is going to be a string. Then we'll need the last name, which is going to be a string as well. Then the name of the farm. Features that the user is interested in. The crops that they grow on their farm. Uh, the area in acres, which is going to be a number. And we're going to need the engine power in horsepower, which is going to be a number as well. Now we can start assigning value to these variables. First, we're going to need to prompt the user for a message. We're going to use a raw input card here. Let's say, hi, huh? what can we do for you? Then we're going to need to take a AI task and give it some instruction so from the user input extract first name last name name of the farm area of the farm in acres uh, power of the engine and and horsepower desired features and the crops that they grow this card is going to take the previous message uh, as an input so event that preview uh, it's going to hold the value of the message that was sent by the user earlier in this card and we're going to store the variable in the user data. To generate the conversation summary, we'll use the AI task card again. I prefer to do it in a separate card so I have more control. So we're gonna say write a brief summary of the following message. And we're gonna give the user's message as an input and preview. We'll store the result in the variable called summary. To get the transcript, we'll use the summary agent. So make sure it's turned on. Uh, there is just one thing. I want to add the line breaks. So in the Salesforce, it's going to be displayed like this instead of one continuous string. To do that, 
we will need the execute code card. And what we'll do is pretty much assign the transcript and using uh, this code will just insert line breaks where necessary. And for the last step before creating a Salesforce lead, let's capture the user's email. We can do it by selecting the email address card. Just say your email and we can automatically create an email variable. And finally, we can create the lead itself. To do that, we'll grab the create lead action card it takes as an input it takes the first name of the lead it's stored in the user data object also it takes the last name name of the farm and the email which is stored in its own variable. Also, this card takes uh, custom fields in the JSON format, so make sure that it's valid JSON. Um, as custom fields, we added the conversation summary, transcript, the area of the farm, the type of crops that they grow, uh, the features of the tractors that they're interested in, and the uh, engine uh, power in horsepower units. Uh, this is the Salesforce naming convention. It's for the, for the custom fields. It's the name of the fields, double underscore and C. Now we can test our sales bot. Let's initiate the conversation by typing in the emulator. Say hi. I'm Doug Jones from Virginia Farms. We have a 500 acre farm where we grow berries, wheat and soy. We need a 100 horsepower tractor with GPS and climate control. We can put our email address dog at Virginia Farms dot com. And if I go to my leads in Salesforce, I can see that a new lead has been created. If I inspect it closer, I can see that the name is Doug Jones, company Virginia Farms, email is correct, 500 acres, crops grown berries, sweet and soy, features GPS climate control, 100 horsepower, uh, I also added the conversation summary as, as well as the full conversation transcript. So that's it. That's how you integrate Salesforce with your chatbot um, in BotPress. Thank you for watching and have a good day.